What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and we are finally here for the kind of delayed But we have a very special unboxing for you guys if you don't recognize this place This is where we had the one of 420 pairs Nike SB dunk skunks You can hear the birds are chirping loud and about today It's honestly a beautiful day not too sunny not too cloudy not too warm not too cold Which is really really rare climate for New Jersey out here, but we are here as you can see We have an all gray Nike Air Force one box which you might say Nothing special ever comes in a plain old box like this. Like typically some special box, maybe some sort of looking SB box you would expect. But instead, of, as you can tell by the thumbnail and title, we have the very, very limited and exclusive Nike Air Force One Puerto Rico's. And this is a 2020 version. Now, if you guys don't know, Nike Air Force One have done multiple different Puerto Rican Air Force One inspired silhouettes in the past. Different colorways incorporating the Puerto Rican flag. Now, what happened with this time around? They ended up saying, I have the official words for you guys. You guys will see it up on the screen. Basically, I'm going to paraphrase it. But what they did end up saying is that the flag, did not, the way they did the design does not align with their views. And we'll decide for exactly what I, what the main cause of it would be, which is, of course, the reverse flag. If you guys haven't read up on it, it was confirmed about last week that this was canceled. And the weirdest thing about this shoe, so when it came out, when it was rumored to come out, it was selling at 250 260 which is basically, you know, Breaking it depends where you buy it from, but breaking even. I bought my pair from Europe to the European Union release because the fact only select few retailers overseas did end up releasing this. And thank you to Time Boy TV Plus, which is a group that I do own. We had monitors for that. We have AIO monitors which cover those sites. We picked it up and I was like, yo, let's buy them. We bought a few pairs and ended up coming to around $170 US dollar retail with shipping, with fees, and everything else included coming from the UK. And luckily, we did buy it before the whole entire, before Nike did indeed fully decide to cancel this release once again. So it was confirmed by Complex that they are not going to be releasing these. They're going to be destroying them, whatever the hell that means. Backdoor, FNF, or just completely, most likely destroying them with, with the burner or something. But we're going to go ahead and break you down, guys down the entire box, as well as the tag, as well as the shoe itself. So first of all, on the tag, we have Air Force One Low Retro PRQS, which means Quick Strike. True white, white obsidian, size 11 or a size 11 men's, one men's 12 and a half. And the one crazy part about this sneaker is literally I sold this shoe for what was like $280. And I was like, all right, bet I made my $100. I made like $80 on I was like, I'll take it. And it ended up being that I sold the wrong size because of the UK conversion rate. It looked like they were selling them via US sizes on the site. Ended up being UK. So well, luckily I sold the wrong size and we ended up just dubbing that sale. And luckily we still have this sneaker left. And yo, ever since then, luckily after that sale canceled, prices went up to 2000 But this was before the news broke out about the shoe actually being canceled. So once the news broke out, it's crazy because the shoe went from 280 to 2000 That's when my pair got canceled the night before. It went to 2000 Went to 2000 went down to 200 and then officially got canceled. And that's when prices went up to like around 1200 And now they're back down stabilizing around 500 US dollars. Small size are going for a bit more. We'll talk about resale in a second. Well, let's just get cracking into the shoes because, you know, we've been talking about this video for a while and we don't have not brought out the shoes. But I did show you guys the shoes in an unboxing when it wasn't, it was skeptical that they were going to cancel this release, but not 100% confirmed. So hopefully you guys can see right there is a Puerto Rican flag on the back heel. Now, I love this design. Um, I absolutely love Puerto Rican culture. I'm all about it. But like this shoe is actually beautiful. The tumbled looking leather on it is actually magnificent. Quality is A1. The color blocking is perfect in my opinion. You have, do have a little red on navy looking. And then you have like a almost tight, almost satin material, but not really on the inside. Super soft cushioning. Like there's just so many cool details about this shoe to break down. But of course, it's your classic Air Force One. Nothing else really too special about it. But right on the toe box, you have a nice navy swoosh over there by the laces. Once again, the nice fully embroidered, or it looks, it literally looks embroidered which is very hard to do on this type of material you can literally see the stitch marks at the top hopefully the camera can pick it up you can see the puerto rican flag right there the quality once again is a1 i absolutely love it and the reason why the shoe was canceled supposedly is because of this the flag is backwards on the tongue and you know there's a lot of uh, issues going around the world right now especially considering race and all that and I'm assuming they didn't want to cause any troubles, but personally myself, and I don't want to get too far ahead of myself, but I don't see the main issue. I know I have a few Puerto Rican friends and they said they saw no issue with this. So at the end of the day, I'm like, why was it really canceled? I'm kind of confused, but at the end of the day, I'm not complaining about it because it's going up for so much, but this is not something I would sell. I'm definitely going to keep it to the collection. Not going to wear them at all, but definitely some cool display and story piece. But 
This wouldn't be a full sneak review for you guys if we didn't break out the insoles. They were slightly glued in, but you guys can see one of the main iconic pieces of this is the frog right here. If I'm not mistaken, this is the this is the in, the most iconic. It literally looks like a baseball, bro. Looks like a I'm getting all over the place, but it looks like baseball stitching on the inside. But the frog is the animal of Puerto Rico or the insect, if I'm not mistaken. Insole is 10 and a half to 11 and a half. Basically. Like looking at it, you wouldn't say it's nothing special, but after you look more into the research behind it, you do realize like th there's only a few pairs out there, but there's a lot of pairs out there right now on Cockex, Goat, and all. There's a considerable amount of asks. Goat is Goat has a little bit of a higher market on these, and if you do have a pair of them, I mean, listen, realistically, people that do have pairs are probably just want to get rid of them for around five hundred dollars. There's definitely some people out there with a few amount of pairs from a backdoor, for example, or even some retailers probably still have a few amount of pairs that they're keeping just because they could eventually sell them for the most. Like if you have a, if you have like you're looking at 20 pairs right now in your stock room and you do realize they're going for five hundred dollars a piece. Nike's like, yo, send them back or did you already sell them? And I'm like, oh, I guess I sold them. Who knows? Or some slipped away to FNF already early. You know, that's just how you could play it. And that's what I think a few people are going to end up doing. So I don't think this will be a super duper, duper limited sneaker out there. Like it'll be limited to the point where you're going to have to pay a pretty penny to get one because everyone knows what they're worth. But at the end of the day, is it worth it? I mean, if you got pure Puerto Rican heritage and you're all about that, I think it is. I think it's a great looking shoe. You guys can see the navy soles right there. Air on the on the side right here in navy as well. Beautiful looking tumble leather on the toe box on the side. I just think these are extremely, extremely cozy. I'm not going to wear them myself just because the fact is, you know, I can't put the, I can't put on history right here. But this is a US 11 UK 10. Ooh, production date was from 11 07 2019 to 11 to 106 2020 so that's Jan so that's november 7th to january 6th 2020 uh skew code is cj 1386 100 and that's just about it on the skew code this made in china and yeah i don't know if you guys will be able to pick up the skew code right there but expect there definitely will be a lot of fufu pairs out these i already saw some fufu pairs of these out on the market so be cautious be prepared it does come in a regular once again gray nike box nothing else too special about them besides the fact that they just got season distance and crazy to think that if these didn't get canceled they'd be going for around 160 bucks probably because i suggested msrp if i'm not mistaken in us dollars was 120 bucks they were never officially loaded anywhere but officially images were loaded on back end but not publicly on front end for nike sneakers and um i'm just interested yo because we've seen a lot of early pairs come out crazy and i haven't seen too too many of these i know a few people from the discord group did end up securing these and did listen to the uh announcement when they did go live and i also did tell people to invest in them and luckily somehow some people ended up shipping them on cockex i was like listen prices are about to go up like crazy your best bet is going on stockx right now when they officially got announced that they were getting canceled and just go ahead and buy pairs like that's just your best bet like you're not you can't don't bother looking at local sales because by the time you message somebody for local sale the price already went up so that's why i told some people to go on stockx only a few ended up shipping but hey yo a few is better than none at the end of the day once again i'll give you guys a closer look at the top which is the main feature as to why Nike did cancel these quality though is a one I like to see more type of work like this from Nike though 100% I like to see a lot more of this tumble leather soft mater soft material on the toe box all over print absolutely I'm a fan of these 100% now is it worth $500 ladies and gentlemen honestly if I was from Puerto Rico and I had family from there and everything I would do it if they had a collaboration like this with Slovakia it's a wrap if you guys didn't know that's where i'm from first generation you know what i'm saying but if they made something like this with the reverse flag dude i recall my country is so small that they don't even pay attention to it really but this is definitely one one for the books definitely one for the books and definitely will be going up in value if you do have one i recommend just holding it unless you need money this is definitely a great profit flip going for almost as much as off whites uh now the present day off whites more or less the og off whites go for the sky but these right here are basically selling for what off whites sell for right now so it's just still shows to, sh but it still goes to show that you know Nike still got it. Nike still got it. all they gotta do is do a few cease and desist, and they got the whole world buzzing about these. I saw some crazy articles about these as well on the internet. So one last 360 degree look at these, ladies and gentlemen, and that's just about it for this in hand Nike review. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Right now, literally, we're recording this the day before. Right now, we're up in a mysterious place recording some recording some crazy ass think review. So stay tuned for that. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.